Hello. Mind freak. Okay. I've taken a look at your responses for uh, Psychokinesis 2, and the thing is that, remember, um, you are working off the same radioactive decay random number generator no matter what the test. Um, they all run off the same uh, sample of 85 uh, uh, Krypton, which is decaying uh, randomly. Anyway, um, so, so you've done four runs on the, uh, on the feedback with the bell curve, and you've done four on the pendulum. You've had uh, one, at zero, one exactly at chance, Two uh, um, it, this is counting total. You've had one z a chance, one almost statistically significant in the positive direction, three which were statistically significant in the positive direction, um, one extra positive, uh, and um, one below chance and one slightly above chance, each with a one and two chance, so they would have nullified each other out, thus having a net chance result uh, on those two. So uh, based on where you are, and remember, each positive score has a cumulative effect um, clean across the board. So um, with all that, your cumulative z-score should be statistically your your cumulative uh, score should be statistically significant, probably somewhere in the one in twenties if all uh, goes well, or one in forties. Now remember again what I said about all this being uh, about all this being calculated um, uh, p uh, one tail. So again, you're still roughly in the same area, but either way, um, you're statistically significant. So um, when you're influencing, so they're, uh, when you're uh, observing it, um, or put, trying to put your intent on it. So again, barring statistical significance by chance, and considering this is a true random source, so it removes uh, all the problems of um, uh, of uh, you know various controls like tr uh, pseudo randomness, uh, uh, feedback problems, what have you, or lack, uh, ability to tamper, fraud, that sort of thing. Um, based on that, uh, it looks like you just may have. Uh, statistically significant uh, effect. Uh, stati well, you have statistical significance regardless, but it looks like you just may have uh, retropsychokinetic capabilities. Um, again, for the time will tell, and more, uh, well, more testing, of course. But um, other than that, I think that pretty well covers it. Uh, anyway, the reason I'm posting this video response is um, your psychokinesis two video. Even though I approved it as a response to uh, my clip, recyclokinesis. Um, it didn't register. Uh, it hasn't shown up as a video response. So I'm hoping that by posting this video, um, uh, people who check my uh, username or what have you will actually see um, saying that this is a video response to your video response, and uh, hopefully uh, they'll at least be able to pick up your clip that way, uh, just as a just in case precaution. Probably it's something to do with YouTube and their probably and their ongoing site maintenance or what have you. So anyway, uh, like I said, keep up the good work. Uh, looks like you may actually have some. Uh, well, of course we've already seen your viewing capabilities. And are your remote viewing tests and this combine and this with it would suggest that it looks like you do have some degree of psychic capability, assuming that we're not dealing with statistical significance by chance here. Um, but yeah, it's a possibility. It's one uh, seriously worth considering at this point. So that having been said, um, yeah, keep up the good work. Toodles, my freak.